Hey everyone, Yiri here and in this video I will show you how you can use versions to both maintain and distribute your design system data to a different interested parties in your company. So what are the versions inside Supernova? Well, versions are something like a snapshot. If you create a new version, we will basically take all the data and create a snapshot of your design system, of your design data, of your code data that you have made available to uh, your design system or, or that you have imported. And also we will make a snapshot of the documentation. So everything basically becomes a one solid pack of data that you can start distributing amongst your team members. Now the snap snapshot is of course very important inside design systems in general because usually you don't want to share your draft that you are working on. You really want to sh uh, share something that is stable. And then when the time comes, you will just decide, okay, now it's time to switch to another version, right? And this is exactly what you can do in Supernova. So maybe I will show you now uh, how you can create one such version and how you can use it to your advantage. So what do you see here? is my design system that we've used in several other tutorials already. And in here I have some of the data, some tokens, some components, some assets, and also the beginning of the documentation. Now what do you see here is a version selector. This allows you to list all the versions that you have available and also create a new one. Let's start with what versions we already have defined. There is one special version inside each of the design system, which you have always available, and that is your shared draft. Now, this is the only version that you can actually write to. And this version, uh, you are using this when you want to import the new tokens, when you want to uh, create new assets and so on. If I want to take all the data and stabilize, uh, you know, everything that I have inside the design system, then I will click on a new version and create a new semantic version that I can distribute maybe inside the documentation, maybe inside the export pipeline. So let's do that. I will create a new version, which presents me with this uh, form where I have to fill three pieces of information. The version number, which is a semantic version uh, of your design system or the snapshot of your, of your design system. So what I will write is just maybe 100. We are starting uh, right from the beginning. And a version name is just whatever you want to put there. You know, um, Android, for example, uses cakes, I think name of cakes or ice creams and so on. Um, so we can use something creative. Maybe let's just call this uh, It Begins a very prosaic version name, I would say. So our new version uh, will be called It Begins and it will be a first stable version of the design system that we have released. Now I can also optionally put change log. So uh, let's just uh, add, this is the very first stable version of the design system. Now, uh, the only thing that I have to do, I will just hit publish which will basically, again, take a snapshot of everything that is connected to this design system, including the documentation that you have written and will create a stable version. Now, if we go to uh, back to say tokens or components or assets, uh, and if we switch the version, or if we open the version selector, you will see that there are now two versions. One, which is your shared draft. This always stays and this is where you are continuously improving the design system. And one that is the stable version, version 1.00. If I switch to that version, you will see that the version is now read only. I cannot actually ch make changes to it. There is one exception. You can still edit the documentation, which is really important because um, you might do some tweaks and improvements while you are continuing to work on the new version uh, for your team but you know the team is still consuming this stable version, right? So you want to have access to, to continuous improvements. But if you want to manipulate the data, you have to do this on the shared draft. Now, of course, those two versions are available inside the documentation and you can be distributing them separately as I will show you in a, a different video. I would also like to show you one other example of where the version is actually extremely useful. And that is inside code integration. There are dedicated videos 
it's exactly for this topic, but I just want to show you this one thing uh, before we end this video. So code integration is basically our CI pipeline. You can, for example, uh, create a new asset inside your uh, Figma and then publish this asset and we will pick this up and deliver this asset in 1x, 2x, 3x, for example, uh, into your code base through a pull request that we will open. This is just one of many options that you can do. You can do the same thing for tokens, for components, and also for the documentation. Uh, and everything else is covered in different videos. But versions actually play a very important role here because if I would create a new automation inside Supernova that reacts to specific events inside design system, I actually do have option to react uh, to a version released. So you can imagine that you are working on a design system and when you are happy, you would create this, uh, this hook, this automation that will allow you to react on any new version that you have created and then maybe generate a CSS representation of your tokens or deliver all the icons from the version to your code base just by opening pull request. This is all possible, but it's a topic for another video. So I hope that you liked what you have seen today and I will see you in the next one.